What's good with your family? How y'all doing? This is Mario Matthews, owner and operator of Minas Till Dawn Productions and author of the book, Dream No More, Rise of a Lion. Dream No More, Rise of a Lion is a coming-of-age sci-fi fantasy novel featuring Lion, a young boy who was torn from his family due to a civil war. He's taken in and nursed back to health by a host family who find out that not only has he been displaced from his home country, but his family is captured by a sorceress. So now they're on a quest to retrace their steps back to where they found him in order to unravel the mystery surrounding his unique circumstances and to help hone his skills for the journey ahead to save his family. Join Lyon, Lisa, and Dior on this quest by reading the book Dream No More, Rise of a Lion. It's in stores right now on Amazon and Lulu.com. Amazon, you can get the paperback and the ebook, And on Lulu, you can get this hardback copy. Dream No More, Rise of a Lion. Thank you all for all the love and support. All right. We're going to talk about a very important case that is, being dis that, that is now proceeding in the Supreme Court. Okay. For my black ADOS family, this is, for all intents and purposes, a direct assault on the rights that were put in place to protect ADOS business. Okay? For those who don't know, we are going to be discussing the discrimination suit um, between Comcast and Byron Allen. Now, uh, you know, some people have their gripes about Byron Allen, you know, rightfully so. However, make no mistakes that this is a direct assault on all our rights especially as black people who are the descendants of American slavery, okay? This news report is coming out of multi-channel news. Uh, headline, Supreme Court will hear Allen discrimination suit against Comcast. A, trillion, uh, a 20 billion suit claims Comcast conspired to keep African American owned channels off of its systems, all right? Let's get into this. The U.S. Supreme Court has agreed to hear Comcast's uh, appeal of the 2015 discrimination suit bought by Entertainment Studios chief uh, Byron Allen that alleged uh, the media giant conspired to keep Amer African American owned networks off of its system. Allen and the National Association of African American Owned Media brought the suit in 2015, claiming damages of $20 billion. The federal court dismissed the suit, but that decision was reversed by the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit, uh, for the Ninth Circuit in November. So, for that, for y'all who did not just understand that, the lower courts, the lower courts essentially... Um, they, they essentially barred the lawsuit, so he lost, Byron Allen lost the first court, you know, for the lower courts. Then he went to a higher court, which is the Ninth Circuit, court of, U.S. Court of Appeals, and he won the suit, okay? For all intents and purposes, he won the lawsuit. He showed and he proved that Comcast was essentially discriminating against black-owned businesses. Okay? All right. Continuing. Comcast is asking the Supreme Court to reverse the November uh, Circuit Court decision, adding in a statement that Allen's claim of a vast conspiracy to keep his networks off of Comcast's cable system is untrue. Quote, Comcast has outstanding record, wait, Comcast, excuse me, Comcast has an outstanding record of supporting and fostering diverse programming. Now, there that word goes, okay? My black ADOS family, y'all know that word. 
Y'all know exactly what word I'm talking about. The verse. Not black. Not foundational black American. Not ADOS. Diverse. Who's included in the verse? Hmm? Any non-white group? And women? So that includes white people as well? See, this is why we got to stop using that term. Diversity, people of color, minority. We got to stop using that term, bro. We have to. We have to be specific. And we have to be so specific that it is brought to court cases in a light where there is no room for interpretation. Okay? We have to be unapologetic and unafraid for saying the words black, black American, foundational black American, black American descendant of slavery. We have to be definite, like, we have to be very very specific, okay? This is why the ADOS movement, the Foundational Black American Movement, this is why this is important. Because when we in court cases like this, there is no room for interpretation. Continuing. Comcast has an outstanding record of supporting and fostering diverse programming, including programming from African-American-owned channels, Two more of which we launched earlier this year, Comcast said in a statement. There has been no finding of discriminatory conduct by Comcast against this plaintiff because there has been none. The distributor, the distributor added that it carries more than 100 networks aimed at diverse audience, audiences and that the Ninth Circuit decision was based on an unusual interpretation of the law. Isn't that interesting? So when the law proves that Comcast has been discriminating against African American businesses, it's an unusual interpretation. Interesting. Hmm? Okay. Now, these 100 networks aimed at diverse audiences, and I, that's what the article says. See, you, you're going to the, gonna hear these words over and over and over again until we force people's hands to be very specific. We have to, family. If we don't do that, we're going to be drowned out of all aspects of society. It is what it is. Continuing. Quote, we believe the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals decision was incorrectly decided, Comcast continued in its statement. At this stage, the case is about a technical point of law that was decided in a novel way by the Ninth Circuit. We hope the Supreme Court will reverse the Ninth Circuit's unusual interpretation of the law and bring this case to an end. In his own statement... Allen said entertainment studios already prevailed in the Ninth Circuit and will do the same in the Supreme Court. He challenged Comcast's definition of diversity. There you go. See, Byron Allen knows that diversity is up for interpretation. And this case will decide definitively how this law is applied when it comes to African Americans or American descendants of slavery or foundational black Americans in the court of law. This will be the decision maker, okay? If they could get away 
with shoehorning our existence under the moniker of diversity without any specifics in regards to our existence as business owners, partners, co-owners. If they decide this case in a space where they can prove that by just doing business with someone that looks like us, means that they could continue to discriminate against our specific Amer African American owned businesses. Do you understand? Just because a person looks like you does not mean that they have the same lineage. They have the same struggles. They have the same uh, uh, class stratosphere or they have the same character. L-C-S-C. -C, lineage, class, struggle, character. Just because somebody shares the same skin color as me doesn't mean that they come from the same place I come from or share the same challenges I share or has the same character that I have or, or derived of the same lineage that I'm derived from. We have to be very specific and very clear about these things because if we're not, then we'll for all intents and purposes, our history, our existence will be erased. And we're watching the erasure in full time. This is why we have to be very aware and we have to start bringing these issues to the forefront of our politics. We have to. Let us continue. In his own statement, Allen said entertainment studios already prevailed in the Ninth Circuit and will do the same in the Supreme Court. He challenged Comcast's definition of diversity. Quote, this case is not about African-American themed programming, but is about African-American ownership of networks, Allen said in a statement. Unfortunately, the networks Comcast refers to as African-American owned are not wholly owned by African-Americans and did not get any carriage until I stood up and spoke about this discrimination and economic exclusion. Did you hear him? Comcast was dragging their feet until they got sued. This is what we're up against. This is what a race war looks like. Shout out to Jason Black at the Black Channel. You have to understand, family, when you are in the midst of a crisis, a war on your rights, on your existence, on your lives. And you have to stand up and fight for yourself, fight for your community, fight for your family. In all aspects of society, in business and politics. Continue. Allen's entertainment studios networks include a stable of digital channels across several different genres, including comedy, TV, pets, TV, uh, channels like comedy TV, cars TV, Justice Central TV, ES TV. My Destination TV, and Recipe TV. Last year, the company purchased the Weather Channel. In May, it purchased TV stations from Bayou City Broadcasting and emerged as a partner in Sinclair Broadcast Groups. Pro, pro, blah, 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 excuse me. Uh, emerged as a partner in Sinclair Broadcast Group's purchase of 21 regional sports networks from the Walt Disney Corporation. So that goes to show you that Byron Allen is running through the, you know, he's running in, in these groups. And to be honest, a lot of them don't have 
they do not have good records at all when it comes to black people who are the descendants of American slavery and our communities, okay? So that's my criticism to Byron Allen. He's running in these groups that have known ties to broadcasting and broad and programming that is seething with anti-blackness. Whether it's black male, anti anti-black male or anti-black female. But anti-blackness is running through these circles, okay? That's my criticism with, to Byron Allen. Now, I don't know his complete ties to these groups, but it's quite obvious to me that there is some association here. Now, this lawsuit is very powerful. It's very powerful. But we have to be honest, family. Okay? There are no honor among thieves. Okay? We all know what will solve the problem on a communal scale. Reparations to the descendants of American slavery. Citing slavery, Jim Crow, redlining, black codes, race riots, lynchings. We see where people falls when that comes to the forefront. So with that being said, just know that that is my criticism. Continuing, while Allen's networks have managed to secure carriage, oh, I'm sorry, while Allen's networks can have managed to secure carriage deals with other distributors like Verizon, Dish Network, and DirecTV, it has found it to be harder, a harder sell with Comcast and Charter Communications. Allen claims that both Comcast and Charter, which has 22 million and 14 million uh, video customers, respectively, have launched dozens of white-owned networks over the years. Allen sued Charter Communications in 2016 for $10 billion, also claiming discrimination. Charter has tried to get the suit dismissed based on its First Amendment right not to carry the channels, but was rejected by lower courts. Charter appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court on that issue, but the, but the court hasn't decided if it will hear the case. I mean, for all intents and purposes, if Comcast wins this case, then more than likely a higher court will overturn the case from Charter. Because that's how it works. These things are a cascading effect. Okay? It's a cascading effect. We, we have to be very, very vigilant about these things because if we're not, then one thing leads to another. We have to understand that when you have a war front, momentum is very important, okay? When you lose momentum, it's a gradual process. When you gain momentum, it's a gradual process. So we have to be very keen and aware of our momentum. Now, before I end the video, I actually want to... Um, I actually want to talk about the law that Byron Allen is using to sue. Because we have to be abreast of the laws. Now, give me a moment to bring this up. You're going to have to excuse me.
But we need to be very aware of when our rights are being trampled on. Specifically rights that were meant to protect us, black American descendants of slavery. All right, here it is. Let's go to this. Oh, that's a photo. No, let's go to the actual one. Here we go. All right. Okay, let me make sure that this is the one. Nah, that's not the one. I don't think this is the one. Equal, equal protection clause. I, I believe it's the civil rights, civil rights law of 1866. Civil rights and liberty. No, I don't think that's the one. I think it's another one. Excuse me, family. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, is civil rights law of eighteen enforcement act of first during the construction era. So the civil rights law of eighteen seventy five. I don't think that's the one either. Sorry, family. Hold up. Anyway, with that being said, if you haven't already, check out uh, Minutes Till Dawn on all other social media platforms. You can definitely check us out on every single social media platform from Twitter. We are on Twitter. Just search Minutes Till Dawn Productions. We are on Facebook. You can check Minutes Till Dawn Productions on Facebook. Okay. You can check Minutes Till Dawn Production on YouTube. Thank you. Please like, please share, and subscribe. And you can also check Minutes Till Dawn Productions on Instagram. Okay, so, I found it, family. All right. So, it is section 1981 of the 1866 Civil Rights Act. So, I was, I was looking at the right one. It's a specific section, okay? Now, combined with the 14th Amendment, was supposed to protect the recently freed slaves from facing racial discrimination... When they try to go into business for themselves. Did you hear me one? Okay. I will repeat that. Section 1981 of the 1866 Civil Rights Act. Combined with the 14th Amendment. Was supposed to protect the recently freed slaves. From facing racial discrimination. When they tried to go into business for themselves. Understand me family. There is no business without politics. There is no politics without business. So to end this video. I want to send a call out to everybody listening to this video. Okay. Byron Allen is going to the Supreme Court. To uphold this law in place on behalf of Amer African American businesses. What I need you to do, contact your local Supreme, like contact your, your local representatives, okay? Contact your congressman. You need to contact your local NAACP chapter. Your local urban league, you need to contact all of these black organizations who are supposed to help uphold your rights.
in the United States of America. Contact all of them. Email them. Call them. Leave messages. Text them. Let them know that your right is under assault. Where do they stand? Where is their advocacy? Where is their leadership when it comes to upholding our rights in the court of law? Contact them. Let them know that you are watching their actions when it comes to backing Brian Allen in this court case. Let them know that you are watching them. You are watching them represent us in the court of law, in the public. Because they are our representatives. And they don't, if, if they don't represent us, then by all intents and purposes, they're not our representatives. And we are under no contract to suggest that we should support them in any way, shape, or form when it is their time to ask us for a vote. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And we're also on Patreon. Please join us on Patreon. Much love to y'all family. I love y'all. Please be up and abreast on this information. Y'all take care, man. Love y'all everlasting.